There are just two changes on the Limerick team that celebrated victory over Cork two weeks ago. John Flynn comes in at cornerback in place of John O'Neill, while Joe O'Connor wears the fullback jersey instead of the out-of-sorts Mike Nash. Otherwise, the team is along expected lines. Gary Kirby and Pat Heffernan at centre and full forward, respectively, after scoring four goals and five points between them against the Siders. It's a big day for wing forward Fintan O'Shea and full forward Ger Harris, for both make their championship debuts in Perilous today. It's a strong Waterford team built around the successful minor and under-21 teams of 92, aided by experienced players like goalkeeper Ray Sheridan and fullback Damian Byrne. Sean Cullinan and Stephen Frampton, who were doubtful because of injury, have both been passed fit to play. Match referee Dickie Murphy from the county of Wexford starts this Munster Championship semi-final and already we have a free. And interesting, we also have one change. In fact, he's going to start it all over again and away we go. A false start, I think they call it in racing. And Dickie Murphy, of course, the man that did it. Here come Waterford, playing from right to left as we look down on an afternoon when Limerick play with wind advantage in this first half. And there's the very first 65. Right half back, Tony Brown. He was captain of the under-21 team in 92. They won the All-Ireland title when they beat Offaly. Expectation, particularly on Shannon's side, considering their great win over Cork, that Limerick should win this much to some This is good for Richard Harris. A shot. And that confidence can be seen in the form of a man who is making his very first appearance for Waterford in the Munster Championship. Great run by Harris. He got inside Joe O'Connor. There was a goal opportunity on, but I think he did the wise thing. Brian Green has it. This one is a good hurler. Getting inside. Well blocked down by Declan Nash. And coming across to gather it is Don Flynn. He's wearing number two, but he's actually playing at left corner back. Center half back, Fergal Hartley. A little bit of pressure from Gary Kirby. To Kirby's Patrick's Well Club bench, Kieran Carey. Pat Heffernan loving it run on to TJ Ryan. On the top. A point each in this match. And there's the man that leveled it. Again, Ray Sheridan's puck out his final length. Comes down to David Clark. Picked up by Stephen Frampton. Driving it in towards Ger Harris. Knocked out for Billy O'Sullivan. This is a good hurler, young O'Sullivan. And he takes it. Well done, Billy O'Sullivan. Valley Gunner. He puts Waterford one point in front. Mike Coulhan letting it run on for Frankie Carroll to gather it. Pat Heffernan is looking for it to go to the right. Frankie says no. Frankie Carroll levels the match. That's a very good score by Frankie. Pat Heffernan was available to his left, but Frankie knew what exactly he wanted, and he got it. There's a surprisingly great air of confidence in Waterford about this young team, despite some talented players like Johnny Brenner being absent. Mm -hmm. So far, they're doing nicely. Frankie Carroll sending it in. Ray Sheridan. Oh, it kind of took a skid off the surface. Sheridan did well. It's a good clearance as well.
And then the bit of action that ensued around his goal mount there, Ray Sheridan seems to have picked up a leg injury. Oh, lovely hurling, lovely interception by Damien Clark. Damien Byrne getting there first, but Mike Gallagher picking up the loose ball. Seemed to hop off Damien Byrne and Mike Galligan picked up the loose slither and struck it easily over the bar. Here come Waterford now, but not for very long. Tony Brown, Gary Kirby, Virgil Hartley, and Tony Brown. Tony Brown touching the slither on the ground. Free for Waterford. No calling between the Waterford uh, half backs there, Brown and Hartley. So it's free for Limerick. Mm -hmm. Boosted by that point just a moment ago. This one a little bit more difficult. On the 65. Flies beautifully over the The captain of Limerick shows he hasn't lost his scoring touch since the match against Cork. They now have a three-point advantage. Brown intercepting, half blocked down by Gary Kirby. Mike Poolham running on to it. Billy O'Sullivan coming in to try and hook him. It's a ball in for Pat Eppner. Laid on. TJ Ryan from Gary Spillane puts Limerick firmly in the driving seat after 18 and a half minutes of play. It was a lovely ball by Pat Eppernan, who was laying off some nice passes. He saw TJ Ryan loose, hit a cracker, and Ray Sheridan was a little bit unlucky that he didn't quite save it. Gary Kirby. Under Chair Hegarty and Limerick, as a result of that dominance in the half-back line, now going forward in numbers. That's a great ball by Chair Hegarty. The dominance shown by the white flag being raised and the centre half back gets the point. So a blitz in the space of a minute for Limerick, a goal and a point. And Waterford now, this young Waterford team. Their character are going to be tested here, particularly when they're playing against the Breeze in this first half. Well, he's done it from the 20 and the 65. Now he's gone even further back. He's inside the Waterford 65. And with the breeze behind him, he drives a great ball on the Three points for Gary Kirby. He scored 2-5 against Cork. He's well on his, way, on his way to doing the same. This is a great point. Admittedly, the wind is to his back, but he hit it perfectly. Waterford badly need a score now. Still Waterford have it, and now they concede the free, at least Limerick do, for that foul on John Meany. So Paul Flynn. With this chance, the last one he missed, this one he doesn't. And Waterford need that point badly, even from a psychological point of view, to keep the confidence high. Another great puck up by Joe Quaid. Well picked up by Sean Cullen, and now that's a great ball up towards Ger Harris. Runs on for John Meany. Turns nicely, and hits a great point. So Waterford have the confidence to come back. They're not, not quite dead yet. Yes, yes. Oh. Yes, yes. Yes. 
but they need a couple of more scores before half time. Damien Byrne calls for it, tells Mark, no, Mark O'Sullivan to stay back, which he does. Joe Hegarty, nice skill. That's a great ball, dangerous ball, and well gathered by Sean Cullen from Passage East. Tony Brown only knocked it down for Mike Gallagher. Well hooked by Brown. Gallagher pursued it. That's good play by the left hand forward. That's two points now for Mr. Gallagher. Side for John Meany to run out to. Nice turn. Oh, that's a great point. Excellent play by John Meany. The two corner forwards combining, and every time Limerick get a score, Waterford have the confidence to come back and get another. It was Paul Flynn who sent this ball into John Meany, but look at the turn. No messing. Good score. This man was a doubtful starter all week with a groin injury. He's playing very well, and that's a great cut by Sean Cullen. Oh, lovely fielding by Joe Hagerty. He's back to his best. To Kieran Carey, who sprays that ball over to the far side. Michael Sullivan is holding on to his marker there. Damien Quigley was being fouled. So Gary Kirby going for point number four. Four points now for Gary Kirby, and Limerick stretch their lead now to seven points. Tom Fives, we saw the challenge coming from Mike Houlihan. Mike Houlihan persisted, good hook up to Joe Harris, who has moved, interestingly, out to centre-half forward to try and curb the dominance of Joe Hegarty. This is one well won by John Meany, but the referee has given him the free. That's a good, a potentially a good positional switch by Waterford. Paul Flynn, of course, was part of the 92 team that uh, lost the All-Ireland Minor Final. Hoping to get back into the senior uh, path of success now at that point. So Waterford get a little bit closer. Six points, the difference. So Waterford are going to introduce a substitute. Liam O'Connor is coming in and coming off is Fintan O'Shea and this is an effort to try and in some way get their centre and full forward uh, line a little bit more uh, threat, more dominance. Virgil Hartley and despite that purple patch Limerick really haven't gained as a result of it. Wonderful play well. Positional switches making some bit of difference. Joe Harris into a substitute Lee O'Connor. Now he has the strength to get away from Joe O'Connor, but not this time. Well done, Joe O'Connor from Bunny Brown. To Mike Pullahan from Kilmala. Dangerous ball. Ray Sheridan calls for it. Gets away from Damien Quigley. Gets it out by Stephen Frampton. Frankie Carroll's side. And send it back right across the face of the goal to Pat Everton, who's unmarked. Goes for the goal. And Ray Sheridan. Stopping down in Waterford. Sheridan gets it out for Stephen Frampton. Jamie Clark and it took splendidly by Brian Green, but that's just gone out. Willie Barrett to Prairie Man. Good pals with Dick Murphy just telling him about something that's happening off the ball. Three minutes left now in this first half. David Clark puts it in well. Pat Walsh goes up for it. And then, almost, yes, he still is in there. Stephen Frampton pulls it up for his Ger Harris. Driving it in towards Liam O'Connor. And he wins this toss of John Meany. Cornerback Don Flynn, Joe Quaid made a great save. Now there's one, two, one for players. Liam O'Connor and Billy O'Sullivan. And Billy agonizingly scooped it in. 